at seven three and outs and did a lot of things well. You know, I think they didn't cross the fifty yard line. And, you know, I just think that the, the way they're playing, the, the amount of kids that we're getting in the game, uh, the passion they're playing with, the effort they're playing with, um, that's fun to watch, fun to coach. Um, things, you know, uh, throughout the game, I, I didn't think we started, you know, particularly well on offense. But three and out, that was disappointing, but responded, you know, as the game went on. I thought once we settled down a little bit at quarterback and got the run game going, um, a two-minute drive, you know, before the half, I thought was really good by Matt. And uh, there were some good schemes uh, in there the coaches put together, I thought, to get that drive going. But uh, a lot of positives, you know, when you rush the football for over five yards of carry, over 300 yards, and, and hold somebody um, to no points, a lot of things you can build on. You know, I thought our special teams improved. Um, aside from the kicks out of bounds, I thought there was a lot of positive things. Our gunners on the punt team. I thought uh, Keyshawn Miller and Cecil Powell did a great job there on our kickoff coverage. Peyton Wilson uh, did some really good things. And so areas that we wanted to get better at, I felt like we did. Um, now get a chance to go on the road and play at a great stadium. Uh, excited to play West Virginia. Obviously lost that opportunity last year with the, the storm and so excited to play them. Uh, a very storied program that we know a lot about, you know, studying them a year ago, not getting to, uh, to play them. I feel like we know their roster pretty well. Obviously, a new staff, but another thing that we know, having played Troy a few years ago, you know, have a lot of respect for Neil and, and his coaching staff and what he was able to do at Troy. And so, you know, looking forward to taking this young football team on the road and, and a you know, chance to see how we can handle crowd noise with our offense, which will be a big factor for us. You know, obviously, playing good defense, playing good special teams, you know, uh, control. Finley, yeah, six year guy, three year starter. You expect some transition there, it's not going to be the same. When you said Saturday about some of the deep game, deep passing problems, was that something you kind of expected? Is that part of the yeah. transition, or is there something there you're no, we went disappointed through, in? No, Jacoby in his first year, I, you know, he struggled throwing down the field accurately. Uh, you know, Ryan will tell you that his biggest improvements were in down the field accuracy over the course of his career, and that's just part of it, you know, and those guys' practice is different than a game sometimes. How, you know, juiced up they are and let the ball go a little too far. And you saw that on one of the plays to there. But he's also thrown some good deep balls. You know, he hit a wide open guy, and sometimes a wide open guy is harder to hit than a covered guy. And when he hit carry down the sideline, you know, he's done a really good job um, on some of his passes that are coming off our play action game. You know, I think that's the one area that I've been impressed with him. But just the consistency of letting our guys have a chance to make the play like you did with Devin Carter, I thought that was a really good throw on that skinny post. Gave Devin a chance to use his big body, you know. Um, but early in the game, we threw a fade ball to Mecca and the ball's out of bounds, you know. Don't even give him a chance to make a play. So just working on those types of things. Uh, and that'll come, you know, it'll come. And the good thing is it hasn't been bad in practice, you know. We just got to get it to carry over to the game. Not seeing Nick McLeod on the death chart. I didn't know if there was anything to that or if he's available to he's return to some point. He's not ready yet. He'll be back. He's just not ready. All right. And obviously heading into West Virginia, uh, a team going on the road for the first time, you know, what do you expect from that atmosphere as well? Um, you know, from what I've heard, it's a great game day. You know, the fans get into it. They support their university. Um, they have a lot of fun, you know, very vocal and, similar to what you hear about coming to play at Carter Family, you know, so it's going to be a great environment. I'm excited for that. Hey, with the three running backs that you've got, that you're using a lot, uh, they all have different styles. Yeah. Do you have a, a, an idea or a plan going in as to how you're going to use them, or is it essentially a hot hand kind of situation? It's evolving, I think, as we go. Uh, they, they all give us things. They're all good players. Uh, some of them have more strengths in some areas than others and certain plays that they're better at than others And I think you kind of you know have to use those strengths um, I don't think it'll be a hot hand thing I and mean, certain things Jordan Houston does better than Ricky certain things Ricky does better than Van and, and You go around. I mean, that's our job is to try to find ways to get these guys the football and keep them fresh and healthy and Let them play you know, if they're able to and those guys can play they're playmakers. We've got to continue to feed them the football There might be a tendency to look at their Missouri result and think perhaps they're not in great shape. 
but do you see them in a similar kind of phase as you guys are? I know they have a new coach, but obviously last year they had Will and you guys had Ryan. It seemed like you were yeah. pretty similar teams. Do you, do you see yourselves both as, again, maybe in the same yeah. phase where as a program where they're <clears> – <throat> You get, get where I'm getting. No, I do. I mean, they've been a successful football team. You know, last three years they've been really, really good, and they lost a lot of talent, you know, to the NFL, and then they lost their coaching staff. Um, and so they're, you know, a young roster, an uh, inexperienced roster, but a team that's used to winning. And I think we're very similar to that. So they're still trying to feel their way out. You know, I know, having been in a first year as a head coach twice now. It takes some time, you know, as a coaching staff and as a, a, a locker room to kind of figure out what it is. And it doesn't mean they're a bad football team. They're not. I mean, you watch them. They've got good players. They're fast. Uh, their DBs will hit you. They're aggressive, you know. So the score of that game, no. I mean, I think you got to look at the history of their program and how those guys played last year and this year. And we expect a really good football team to show up against us. Dave, is there any kind of effort to uh, to reschedule or to you know, to get a return game because of the cancellation last year, or is that pretty much gone and this is one off? Yeah, it's a one off right now. Dave, when you guys haven't given up a touchdown yet, and obviously those things are yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, but is there is there an element you look at with the way you guys are playing defense that you like more yeah. than anything else that's maybe contributing to that? Uh. I think we're playing fast. You know, I think that's the first thing. You see some things like a guy will be out of his gap or a guy will, you know, get blocked. And, and then you're seeing guys cover up for it quicker. And there's just more overlap in the scheme. Um, like I said last week, I think that we have a few more answers and coverage when things aren't the way you'd like them to be, where it doesn't sacrifice your ability to stop the run. Um, and there's a lot of things pressure wise you can do. You know, when we scratch the iceberg out of that. And, and so. I just think there's a lot more variety to it. It's allowed us to um, get a lot more people involved schematically just because of what we're doing in the back end. And so, so far, so good. You know, I mean, we still haven't played the, the big heavy set offensive sets yet. And I think that's a test, you know, that's coming our way as we get into not only this game, but, you know, what's down the road with conference play. Stay strong defense has been really good the first two games pretty good going back you know, in the past too. But coming up with this odd man front, did you have any reservations about uh, your ability to stop the run? Was mm -hmm. that kind of a big question? And, and uh, how do you see the run defense right now? Yeah, I mean, anything that you haven't done a lot in, in this profession, the first time you do it, you're going to have some, you know, just don't know the answers to everything. You know, I mean, math is a big part of defensive football, you know. I mean, if you have one more than they do, you're going to stop the run if you guys are coached well. And so this box counts no different than the old box counts, just different people out there, you know. And, and so we felt like we had the numbers. Um, and, you know, the big thing with Hux, and it's one of the things I respect so much about him, he's going to make sure every single run that they have, we can fit up and be sound against it. Uh, executing that is a different thing. but. You know, they spent a lot of time this summer going through all that stuff and making sure it was clean and so that we'd be ready, you know, if we had the scenario that we ended up in in fall camp. And so proud of them, you know, staff-wise, of having a plan A and a plan B and being ready to, to execute with both. And so far, it's been a good addition. Coach, what's the biggest challenge for a young quarterback going on the road for the first time in a hostile environment? Um, you know, I think... It's easy as a quarterback and things don't go well. You can come to your sideline, your fans are behind you, and it's not going to be like that, you know, and it's not like that in our stadium. I mean, you're hearing the opposite if you're listening. <laughs> I told them the other day they're going to probably learn some new words that they hadn't heard. And <laughs> just smile, you know, when you start hearing that, people yelling at you. That, that's what makes it fun to me. I mean, there's nothing more rewarding, in my opinion, than going into someone else's stadium with all of that against you and playing really, really good football. I and mean, I think that's a tribute to your focus and your preparation if you can pull that off. And so there's a lot more factors. And, you know, the biggest thing, obviously, is communication. You know, when you have crowd noise as an offense, making sure you don't have a bunch of pre-snap penalties. With Cecil. Uh, have you had guys who have played both ways before and 
when did you kind of get the feeling that he's a guy that you could possibly use in, in all those different ways? Yeah, at Kansas, we had uh, Charles Gordon played both ways, John Randall played both ways, and Keep Tlaib played both ways. And, and so I was very familiar with doing that. Um, didn't have to do that at Wisconsin. You know, we didn't have that personnel issue. But losing C.J. Riley, as I mentioned, you know, we felt like having another guy that can add a few things to, to the offense without having to totally flip him, because he is going to be a really good defensive back. And we have Nick Hurt on defense, so we're trying to get uh, Cecil ready to play a corner as well. But, you know, you saw him on the first punt run by their, their team and get down there five yards ahead of everybody else. He can fly. And so he was a great high school uh, returner. He was a great high school receiver. He was, uh, he was in four events in the state track meet in Florida. He can run. And so it just gives us another guy that can stretch the field. And losing CJ, we felt like he could help us there. young players that you're rotating in. You kind of liken that as uh, sort of like going to the bank and making deposits knowing yeah. that uh, down the road uh, you're going to get a lot of interest out of it. Yeah, I think uh, these guys are going to grow as their confidence grows. They have really good ability. You know, um, they're smart guys. They learn fast. You know, they're, they're not a group. And I'm talking about the freshman class in general. They're not a group that I would call rep guys, you know. I mean, they pick football up very fast. They learn. Uh, most of them come from really good programs where they're coached, you know, and so you're not starting from scratch in, in a lot of cases like you are in some cases. And uh, So each time they're out there, they're getting more and more confident, they're getting more and more comfortable, and hopefully we can continue to do that. Um, and if there is injuries and now you have to plug them in to being a full-time player, you know, they got their feet wet. Gary? As you watch, as you went back and watched the tape, you're talking about guys that can fly. Jordan Houston looked yeah. like he almost broke, broke it for a touchdown twice. Right. Was he that close? Yeah, I mean, he shoestring tackled a couple times, and so something for him to get better at. He plays at a different speed. You know, I mean, he's really, really fast. It's like watching Naheem at times when you see him, his acceleration. You know, I mean, I'm sure his 40 is not what Naheem's was, but his acceleration is really, really impressive. He gets the top speed in a hurry. Dave, Coach Gibson, uh, you mentioned him with giving you guys a bit of a primer on what it's like up there. Is there added significance, do you think, for him in playing this game? I mean, I know coaches, you guys coach at so many schools that you can't really focus on all of them. But, I mean, do, is there something more to it for him, you think? I, I think you ought to ask him that. I, mean, I don't want to speak for Tony on that. I mean, I, that's a conversation I'm sure Annabelle can set up for you. but. You know, all of us that have worked at other places and get to go back to them has different meaning, and I wouldn't want to speak for him. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.